Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to more of the logical journey of the Zumbinis. Colorful Artie's here to help you out for the tough times, and when life gets really tough on the very, very hard rank, sometimes you need a little guidance on what to do. So, very hard and very, very hard for Titanic Tattooed Toads are exactly the same, both in terms of just overall puzzle, and in terms of how we solve it. So we're going to go very, very hard, just in case, just to prove that there's nothing to be afraid of, and we're going back here. The only reason that this algorithm is different from the last one is because now, when we sw swap two lily pads, we want to make sure we swap lily pads that have the exact same lily pad shape. So once again, we start by trying to suss out which paths have already been made or which ones are very, very close to being completed. The blue path is very, very close to being completed. So, and same with the orange path. So let's swap this. Let's see, that is an orange colored flower with a lily pad shape. We will swap those, and that'll make the blue path all nice, and that'll also carve out a path for the orange toad to go across. Perfect. Win-win. Now, the crabs can make it so it takes a while to get across, but other than that, it's really not that bad. All right. White and red are both need a little bit of help. So white needs something here. We're going to swap that with the white one there because they have the same lily pad shape. All right, we need... Let's see. Is there a white lily pad? Oh, there's one up here. We'll do that. So we can put white down there. All right. Purple path. We need a lily pad shaped lily pad. That is purple. That one. Cool. Now here, what we need is we need a red Y, followed by red lily pad shape. All right. So all of the color paths have been made. So once all our frogs have gone across twice, then we'll start worrying about the shape of the flower paths. And again, the shape of the lily pad paths, especially on this difficulty, you don't want to take those. They're way more trouble than they're worth. So oh, my toads arrived pretty much at the exact same time. So again, the crabs can't hurt you. They can slow you down, but as long as you take into effect the fact that their paths are already made for them, and as long as you only swap away pads that happen to have the exact same shape, then you will never have to worry about creating blockades of the crabs preventing you from doing anything. Which is very, very nice. And again, it can be slow going. Sometimes your crabs will go backwards once, maybe twice, maybe even three times if you're unlucky. But as long as you just keep at it, they'll get through. Why did my frog jump down instead of just going across? So my orange frog is having a little bit of trouble. That's just because the frogs, or the crabs, are coming out in a really annoying pattern. But if we just wait long enough, eventually they're bound to go through. Alright, I think one more go around and he'll be good. Anyhow, let's focus on trying to find pattern ways across. Alright, we almost have a diamond way across, we just have to deal with this pesky one. So we need a diamond that is an hourglass shape. That one will do. Now let's send Mr. Diamond Pattern across to his seek his great fortune. Alright, flowers. Okay. So, flower on the lily pad, yep. That's good, cool. Now, X's. This is going to be a little trickier, because we also have to worry about the green, uh, the orange one that's still hopping around. There we go. Took him long enough, but he finally got across. <laughs> 
I've never been in a situation where I've had to swap lily pads around just to get past a crab. Unless, of course, I properly swapped the lily pads to begin with. Alright, flower path is here. Okay. Now we just need to carve out the X path. Should be simple enough. Yep, there we go. Carving out a horizontal path out of the lily pad shapes when there are already vertical paths going on, not very easy to do. Which is why one of the many reasons why I leave those alone. And as long as you do this every single time, you will be golden. Just remember the key, do not use the lily pad shaped tattoo codes, and only swap two lily pads that have the exact same shape. If you follow those two rules, I pretty much guarantee you will do this easily. The only reason I say pretty much is you can go too crazy with the magic wand if you are very wasteful. But if you do it properly, you will you get the great right solution you every single time. You saved them all. And that is it for Titanic Tattoo Toads. There are no tricks or gimmicks that can get you around that level. Just planning and forethought. That's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. I hope to see you next time. Until we meet again, have a great day and God bless.